morning you guys welcome back oh welcome back to another vlog it's maggie if you're new here i'm so excited for the vlog today but first i have to tell you guys the funniest story so you will see in the vlog like obviously you can probably tell by the title um i hopefully am getting a new car today i have been wanting this car for like months and months now i've seen it on the road i'm like so obsessed with it if, even during vlogmas i test drove the car and i vlogged about it and stuff like that so you, if you saw that video you probably know that i've been really interested in the land rover defender and i will tell you guys more about it later just like the process and what it's been like for the past like month and a half of me like getting it because i kind of have like a story behind everything which we'll get into but the funniest thing happened i was submitting my uh like my credit application thing to the dealership and i was doing it on my phone because the guy that i'm working with at the dealership sent it to me so i'm like going through answering all the questions like get, trying to get it filled out before i go to the dealership today and i put my name in and my address filled out everything and then i realized once i was about to submit it i was like wait i should probably put margaret instead of maggie for the name because my real name is margaret and i went to go switch my name in the application and i my phone auto corrected my first name to margaritas and then my phone submitted the application so i'm like so embarrassed the guy is gonna open it up and it's literally gonna say margaritas at the top and i just thought that that was so funny i was like i need to tell the vlog because that's just something funny that happened to me this morning but welcome back to my channel i am about to do a little bit of work actually before i leave i'm waiting for my food to get here i ordered food on uber eats because i have nothing in my house it's a Monday morning, and I need to go to the grocery store with Emma today. So we'll probably do that after we go to the dealership, but we don't have any food, and I'm so hungry, so I'm waiting for my food to get here, and I'm gonna do some work because I couldn't just leave my house and go out and get food and then come back because it's such a process. I was like, I'm gonna waste so much time, so I ordered, but I've really been trying to not order so much Uber Eats because I spend so much money on it. It's like, I feel like so lazy of me sometimes, but at the same time, I like giving the money to the drivers, like obviously giving them a nice tip. And then, um, cause I know that that's like their work. So at least I know that I'm supporting them, but I just feel like, I don't know. I would rather like go and pick something up or um, cook but anyway I'm renting um, I'm gonna go do some work outfit of the day is so cute my new set is from Frankie's bikinis active I'm wearing the flare pants and the little bra I actually showed it in the end of my last video or one of my last videos you guys would have seen I did a little haul but I will link these pieces so cute and I put a little quarter zip from Aritzia over and yeah but i'm gonna do my work now and then um i'll be right back talk to you guys in a little bit i got a little greco salad for lunch if you live in boston definitely go to greco it's like my favorite place to get a salad for lunch i like it way better than sweet green and i'm always so surprised because everywhere else i feel like people love sweet green new york people love sweet green la but in boston it makes me feel so sick every time i eat it and I don't know why. So I have finally found a place to get a good salad. And that's Greco. I got the Horia Tiki. I added arugula to add some greens. But it's tomato, cucumber, red onion, olives, feta. And I got the charred eggplant sauce. And then it comes with some pita bread. So you can like dip in the sauce or whatever. But this is my favorite. I'm obsessed. I just did a little bit of makeup. I am getting ready to head out. I just filled up my water to bring with me and I need to take my vitamins before I forget I just got a brand new pack of the ritual vitamins and I've been taking these for honestly like about a year maybe more than a year I remember the first time I ever bought them I was living at my old apartment in Boston the one that I lived at before this one 
and I really love them. Also, my friend Jessica, when she was pregnant with her daughter Sky, she bought their prenatal vitamins. I don't need those right now, but she loved them and said that they were so amazing and she highly recommends them. And these are subscription based, so it's super easy. They get delivered right to your door and you don't even have to think about it. You just have your subscription. If you want to stop it and snooze it for a little while, you can do that also. And it's actually ends up being really affordable, like a dollar a day for the multivitamins. And what I love about them is that they are designed in a specific way, like the capsule itself. You can take it on an empty stomach or not on an empty stomach, like any time of day, and it's not going to like make you feel sick. That's the worst thing when I like forget to eat before I take a vitamin and then it just like makes you feel really sick and feel off. But with Ritual, you don't have to do that. And they have a minty fresh taste. They're so delicious. And they have nine key nutrients. And what I love about the brand, like what sold me on them, was that they have a team of scientists who basically have done all the research and just made sure that these products were free of any additives or synthetic fillers, just stuff that slips into vitamins that we don't even know about. And also they made sure that it has all the nutrients we need without like adding extras that our body doesn't even need. So I'm obsessed with them. I also have a discount code if you guys want to check out Ritual as well. Their multivitamin is amazing. So check it out at www.ritual.com slash Maggie10 and you can use Maggie10 for 10% off of your first three months when you subscribe. So I will have a link at the top of the description. You guys can check it out. on my way to the dealership right now to go get my car and what I was gonna tell you guys earlier is that I originally when I test drove the Defender they had a gray one coming in in like March and then they had a black one coming in in January and the black one had like a light interior but I like dark cars like all black my car right now is all black like I have black rims black interior it's black on the outside like I just like it all blacked out and I was talking to the guy and he was like yeah defenders are so hard to get and if you want something that is gonna be like all black the way that you want it the best bet is to just get it built and like design it online and we can get it built for you but it won't be here till like May so I ended up reaching out and asking if I could reserve the black defender that was coming in January and I was like okay well I can just do the black rims myself I can black out like the parts that are silver on the exterior of the car I feel like that's stuff super easy to do and there's so many places like outside of Boston that do that so I was gonna do that and he texted me and was like oh actually I have an all black Defender black rims all blacked out coming in January like it's on the truck right now or on the ship coming over and it'll be here like within the first couple of weeks of January and it couldn't have worked out perfectly because that is the exact car that I wanted and I don't want to miss this place because this road that I'm on is a one-way so it's gonna be a bitch to turn around but um it's the exact car I wanted and it just like worked out perfectly that they ended up having that one coming in because it's exactly what I wanted and I just feel like it was a sign that I needed the car so that's the car that we're gonna go see today sorry to the guy behind me I'm like doing such a slow turn because I don't want my camera to fly off my dashboard um, but yeah that's the car we're gonna go see right now I'm pulling in and I'm really excited to show you guys because this I'm pretty sure from like what he was saying on the phone I'm pretty sure it's like the exact car that I want so we will see and also I would not have traded in my car unless um, unless I were to get like the exact car that I want like I'm very particular I feel like cuz like I really like my car right now I love it so much there's nothing wrong with it but I really love the Defender and I want a bigger car so if this is exactly like what I want, I'm gonna get it. But if not, then I would just keep my car. I really don't 
mind. Um, but one thing about it is that there's such a high trade-in value, so I'm getting like so much money for my car right now, and when I trade it in, it just basically cancels out. Like I have the same payment and nothing changes, so I'm not really changing anything at all. Um, I know it might seem like, oh Maggie, you literally just got that car because I got it in 2019. I've had it for over two years, and it's still in really good condition. Like I take such good care of my car. It only has 20,000 miles on it too. So I got a lot of money for it. They quoted me a lot to trade in. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go in. I'm so excited. I will obviously show you guys once I get inside, but we're gonna head on in there right now. I'm inside the car. I just took it for a drive. Um, I don't know where the guy is. I don't want him to come out while I'm like vlogging, but I'll show you guys the outside. This is what the interior looks like. Just pretty normal. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's a fridge in here, which is really cool. But yeah, this is the inside. Okay, I'm back in my car. I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow what the exterior of the car looks like just because there was like a ton of stickers and stuff on it and they're gonna like get it all cleaned up and take all the stickers off and stuff like that and also it's dark as you can see now so it was hard for me to film anyway um, but I'll do a full car tour in the morning like when I come back to pick up the car so you'll still see that in today's vlog but I just signed all the paperwork and I'm so excited I really 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 love it I love how big the car is I just feel so like high up off the ground and it has so much room and it's so fast it's such a big like fast car like when you literally press the gas it's like like it is so it just it sounds like a truck I really love it um, but anyway that is that I don't know what I'm doing for dinner. I actually really need to call Emma because um, I don't know what we're doing or if she's even oh, if she's even around. She was supposed to come with me um, originally to see the car, but she is with her friends. Hi. Hi. Where are you? So at the mall. Oh. Um, okay. What about you? I'm just leaving right now. We're heading back after. I'm just getting this little, like, cloud print. Look at it. What? That's so cute. Where is that from? Urban Outfitters. It's like a little fuzzy zip up. No way. Yeah, so... You should I'm get gonna, me one. Gonna... You should get me matching one. What size? What size are you getting? I got a small. I got a small. Okay. Um, but what do you want to do? I don't care. Because I can go to the store right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. What do you I don't know. What well, are you in the mood for? I don't know. What are you in the mood for? We have to come back tomorrow to pick up the car. Oh, so you didn't get it today? Well, they have to detail it and like take all the stickers off of it and Because it's like literally just arrived like they have to get oh, okay. it ready. Yeah, that's fine. Plus I can be with you too. Yeah, but I got to drive it and I got to see it How was it? It's so fast. It's like it's so fast and just so big Good. And when you drive it, it literally sounds like like it sounds like a huge truck yeah it's so funny I'm like I don't know I really <laughs> like it I just ran to Whole Foods on my way home and I picked up some stuff so I can make dinner tonight but I also got some extra things that I knew that we would need I didn't do like a whole grocery shop but I got some stuff that we are gonna need for just like the morning to hold us over so I got some coconut water and uh, orange juice. Stuff to make my green juice. And then, obviously, like I said, stuff to make dinner. I got a bottle of wine so I can cook with it. We have some celery for the dinner, some Parmesan cheese. 
I got these bagels right here, which are by the brand um, One Mighty Mill. Em and I are obsessed with them. They're everything bagels and they are local. They're from Lynn, Massachusetts. So, picked up some of those. And then I also got some carrots, a onion, some garlic for dinner tonight. I'm making a bolognese. And then I also just got some greens so I can put them in my green juice. And we're gonna make a salad tonight. And then I got ground beef, a Italian sausage for the bolognese, some lemon, some ginger, bacon for breakfast. This is the pasta that I got for dinner. And that is pretty much it. So I'm gonna put all this stuff on. I'm gonna start cooking. I just got back from walking Milo this morning. It is so cold out. It is 10 degrees. And I like didn't know how cold it was. And I know yesterday it was cold. So before I went outside, I was like, Alexa, what's the weather? And she was like, I couldn't really hear at first. It was so fast. I'm like, it's definitely like one digit. What's the weather? And she was like, it's 10 degrees. I was like, oh my God. So I needed to bundle up because it was so cold out. But what I was just thinking to myself is I actually don't mind the cold. I would rather have it be co as cold it is, as it is now and sunny than like 40 degrees and gray outside because I just feel like when it's gray, it's so depressing and at least the sun's out, like yeah, it's cold, but you can like bundle. Um, but yeah, that's what's up. Good morning, everybody. Look how cute this jacket is that Emma got me from Urban yesterday. So cute. It's a little fleece. I'm wearing a size medium. And also, I have on my Frankie's leggings again because they are literally my favorite. They're so good. Also, I wear them like this high-waisted like super high-rise i'd like my stuff to be super high-waisted but emma told me that if you fold down the band and just make it like normal it's like a cute flower pattern which i completely had no idea but anyway you can do it either way i just thought that that was really cute um, I'm gonna make a little matcha this morning. Good morning. <laughs> so this is how I make my morning matcha. We have the peak tea matcha sticks. And so I just have a little bowl. This is like my matcha mixing bowl and my little whisk. I got this set on Amazon. I can link it for you guys. Basically what I do is I will add in the full packet of matcha into the bowl and also I'm gonna heat up some water and I'm gonna take a teaspoon I'm only using half a teaspoon but the half a teaspoon is in the dishwasher so we're gonna do half a teaspoon of lion's mane half a teaspoon of pearl and then half a teaspoon of this reishi reishi
Also, shout out again, Ritual, I mentioned them yesterday. I just love taking the vitamins in the morning because they leave like a minty taste in my mouth. They're so good. Milo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Love. I also love how, like I mentioned yesterday, you can take them on an empty stomach because I'm not hungry first thing in the morning, like right when I wake up even though I know that you're supposed to eat, like it's just really good for balancing your hormones. And it's just like, I'm not hungry right now, so I love that I'm able to take my vitamins and not have to like eat something with it, because right now I'm just like, not in the mood. But I'm gonna sit down and edit. Sorry, this angle, you guys. I'm gonna edit some vlogs because I'm not behind on filming, I'm behind on editing. And I have like three videos that I have footage up for on my camera. So I want to get those edited and get them uploaded because I've had kind of like a slow start to the year. I was just like super tired from the holidays and vlogmas and everything and honestly like I just feel like I was tired from editing every single day of December that I was just like, I couldn't like get myself to do it, but I have all the footage. So like I kept up with the vlogging. I just didn't keep up with the editing. So I'm gonna sit and do that right now. I'm waiting for the guy actually to text me from Land Rover because I'm gonna go pick up my car today. And I thought that Emma was gonna come with me, but She's going to the Cape. Um, so we're going to go pick that up. But I'm going to edit. I'll talk to you guys after. Guys, this is the last vlog clip in my car. This is so weird. <laughs> uh, the last vlog clip in the Audi. I just got to the dealership. I'm picking up my car now. And I uh, am going to go inside. So... I'm excited. <laughs> okay guys, this is the last moment for my car. This is my car, if you haven't seen the outside, the one I'm trading in, my Audi. Um, it's all dirty because it's been snowing and there's salt all over the road. So this is my car next to the new car. Just so you guys can see like the difference. I'm literally so cold, you guys. It is 11 degrees, which is so weird too. Also, today's 111. So it's 111 when I'm getting my new car. Crazy. Okay, well, here we are. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like sad leaving my other car. It's so weird to think about. Also, one thing I did want to say like, I know I wanted to bring you guys along. Obviously, like, I show my life through my vlogs and just, like, everything that happens. And just getting a new car was just something that, it's just exciting. Um, so, I wanted to show it in the vlogs. But I did want to say that, like, a new car and material items are not what life's about. It truly is about, like, your family and the people who are close to you. Just, like, the people in your life. The relationships that you have with others. Being a kind person. Your health and just being present and enjoying life for what it is and not like the things that you have. It's easy to, especially in this day and age, see everything on social media and just be wanting more and more and more or like the next best thing. But I truly think that that's not what life's about. And although I am showing this, like those aren't my values and that's not who I am as a person deep down inside. I know sometimes it can be taken the wrong way online and people can just see things and think something about you as a person when really it's not like that at all so I just did want to say that although I did get a new car and I did show it um I'm not meaning to like show off or be like oh look like this is me you know what I mean that type of thing or like brag or anything like that I truly just wanted to mention that if that's not what life's about and those are not like the things that are most important to me and yeah i know that <laughs> i see on tiktok all the time people like making fun of the influencer disclaimer on christmas i feel like i'm totally doing that right now but i did want to just mention that um quickly 
but yeah, I'm just super blessed and I'm so grateful for all of you guys because my life has changed so much because of YouTube and I have worked so hard over the past four years and I truly owe it all to you guys. I wouldn't be able to do what I do or I wouldn't be where I am if it weren't for all of you who support me and who watch my videos and I truly am so blessed. I wake up every single morning and pray and just thank God every day for my life and all of you guys who support me. I always make it a point to just reflect every morning when I wake up before I start my day and just be truly grateful for all of you and you mean so much to me and I really love you guys so much so I am gonna do a full car tour I don't think I'm gonna do it in this video just because I know that this vlog is probably so long already but I will do a tour in my next vlog I will just include like the interior exterior of my car but this process has been so fun and I actually got a DM from one of you on Instagram this morning. It was so funny, we were like messaging back and forth. I opened up the DM and it was a video from an Instagram account and it was the same exact car that I just got. I responded and I was like, that's so funny because I'm actually going to pick it up, that exact car this morning. And the girl was like, oh my God, it's so funny. I was secretly hoping you were gonna trade in your other car. So it was just a little funny coincidence. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I love you guys so, so much, and thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already, and follow me on Instagram. I always have a link down below, so I love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you in my next vlog.